Hey folks, uh, today I'm reviewing something a little bit different than what I typically do. Uh, I mean, a, a little bit different knife. And uh, today is the Sanrem UM1 that I got from Gearbest. Uh, when I say different, is I, I usually tend to get more tactical looking knives. And this one is not it at all. This is more like a gentleman's folder. Uh, if you look at it like this. So it, it's more a classy knife. Uh, this is the type of knife that I would take if I would go to like a, a wedding or a party just because I like to carry a, a knife on me at all times. That, that's the type of knife that, that I would take. It's not threatening and it's just classy looking. I like the, the, the blade shape and form, the how it comes up a little bit here with a, a bit of jimping. Uh, very nice. Uh, one thing that feels very good uh, on this knife is when you hold it. Uh, the, the, the material is, uh, I think it's like a, a G10, but it's a G10 that has been polished. So it's actually slippery. It's, one, it's not a knife that you would use for heavy duty tasks, uh, just because of the grip is so smooth. Another reason why you wouldn't use for heavy duty tasks is like there's no lock up on this knife. Uh, the blade is just held in place by a, a detent ball. Um, more, uh, I would say the the the, the, the detent ball is doing a, a pretty good job. However, I wish it would have been a little bit stiffer. It, while the, the the knife doesn't fall on itself by itself like this, it still doesn't take too much force to make it fall. So if I start tapping like this at one point, here we go, it falls. So it would have been nice if you would like. I would have preferred being a little bit stiffer, but that's just my preference. Uh, another nice detail is the groove here to, uh, to 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 help with the deployment of the knife. This is no flicker by no means. I mean, it can be flaked like any knife, but that that's not the knife that is meant to be flaked like that. It's meant to be open, like nice and soft. Um, another nice thing that I've seen on this knife is actually the pocket clip. Um, most Chinese knives, actually all the ones that I own, tend to have a very stiff pocket clip that basically makes it very hard to, to, to use and to, to, to attach to your pants. This one is the first one that matches the, 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 the US knives where it's fairly easy to attach to your, to, to your pants. So that, that, that's a plus for this knife. So again, if you're looking for like a, a more classy knife, like a gentleman's folder or whatnot, and you don't really require like a, a blade that locks, uh, this one is highly recommend. I, I personally like it. I like the look of it. I like, you know, uh, it, it's different. I mean, it's not one of those tactical knives that that you carry on you all the time. Okay, see you later.